Hi, my name is Derek Garcia, and today I'll be reviewing the SBDX online tool. This website is the SBDX counterpart to the Cyclone DX web app we covered a while ago. It is a simple GUI with a series of SBOM features that makes handling SBDX SBOMs easy and hassle-free. To start, I'll give a general overview of the website. It's fairly self-explanatory, but regardless, I'll start with validate. This option confirms that the SBOM matches the SBDX standard, so I'll test it first with a good SBDX SBOM, which I'll upload now. Specify that it's a tag style. And we can see, validate it. Now, if I use a modified file, which is the same SBOM, I've just got rid of a lot of the values and attempt to validate it, we can see that there was an error processing it. Next is convert, which as the name implies, converts between SBOM formats. So I'm going to upload my good SBOM. And in this case, I'm just going to convert it from the tag value to a JSON. So if we convert, we get a pop-up and we just need to right click and save link as, which will save it to wherever you want to save it. In this case, just to my downloads folder. Now we can test this converted file with the compare feature. We can put in two or more SPDX files and get the result in an Excel spreadsheet. So switching over to the compare, I'm going to upload my two files. So there's my tag file and my JSON file. And I'm going to just name this compare. And we'll get a pop up. And just like before, we can save the link as and save it as an Excel spreadsheet. Viewing the result, we can see all the information placed side by side. So just going through this, we can see where there's information, see our packages, everything compares side by side. And in this case, our conversion was lossless because majority of our conversions are all equal. So if we check the packages again, you can see everything is equal. If there's a difference, it'll indicate that in the report. Then there's the check license. This option is supposed to take in a license name and check if it exists in the SBDX library. However, I'm unable to get this feature to work. I've tested it with licenses from the SBDX list, but I still get an unknown error. So for example, if I use a popular one, say Apache 2.0, I'll check the license and there's none listed. But if I go to the official license list and scroll down a bit, we can see that Apache 2.0 is present. Confusingly, if we switch over to the license XML editor and create a new license from an existing one, use the same Apache 2.0, we can make the file with all the information without issue. But regardless, this tool can be used to modify and create new licenses to the SPDX license schema. Lastly, there is an option to submit a request for an official SPDX license but I'm not actually sure if this feature is in use. We can see a list of license requests. We can submit a new license request if you wish. We'll need to sign into GitHub to the license repository, but we can fill in all the application information here. If you are interested in applying for a license, I'll leave a link to the SPDX license repo that has more information about contributing. And that's about it for the SPDX online tool. It's a great GUI tool for a quick SPDX SBOM manipulation without the need for downloading a CLI or any other sort of tool. It's also great for those who are less familiar with the software and command lines, allowing for easier adoption and usage of SBOMs for those with limited technical backgrounds. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at learnasbomb.com. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here. And then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.